as you saw here, the marmot, as soon as we came, he took off and headed up the slope. They will take off, they will move away as soon as they feel that you're stressing them or that they are uh, in any kind of danger. If you go to the Rocky Mountain National Park where they're protected, they have become somewhat of a pest because people feed them. So they've lost their fear of people. They became beggars and want to take food from humans, which is really bad. They are vegetarians. They're eating mostly herbs, forbs here in the environment. They love dandelions. They love uh, cow parsnip. They like clover and grasses. When they come out of hibernation, they do need protein. So they, you'll see them digging in the dirt and getting grubs. They'll eat grubs, they'll eat large insects, but as the summer progresses and plant material becomes very readily available, well, they'll be strict herbivores. Many backpackers have all said, yeah, marmot tore my backpack apart and you know got into my food stuff. Well, of course they did. They smell the high energy food. One of the reasons why they seek humans and why they um, seek human food sometimes is because of the high energy content. They won't choose human food over their vegetation that they've got out here. But if you leave Cheetos or crackers out here, because again, because of the salt and taste, they'll go for it. I mean, they can smell it. They'll go for it. The problem is that kind of human food is not a balanced diet for them and changes their internal fat stores. Humans don't give them the kind of food that they actually need. It can disrupt their hibernation cycle.